my kitchen. Today I am going to cook a popular Manipuri chicken curry or yen thongba. It is a deliciously spicy and flavorful chicken dish and I am sure you are going to be blown away. The ingredients required for this dish are country chicken, potato cut into halves, sliced onions, chopped tomatoes, bay leaf, salt, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, fennel seeds, cardamom, cinnamon sticks, mustard oil, ginger, garlic, fresh green chilies and cilantro straight from my kitchen garden. Now let's start cooking. In a mortar take the ginger, garlic and green chilies. Pound it into a coarse paste. Take the chicken pieces in a large bowl, then add salt, turmeric and the crushed ginger garlic chili paste. Add little oil, mix it well with your hands and let it marinate for 30 minutes. Now take the cinnamon sticks and cardamom pods in a mortar, pound it and keep aside. Heat oil in a pan, then add the potato halves and lightly fry it until golden. and keep aside. Now in the same pan, add bay leaf and fry it for a minute to let the flavor infuse into the oil. Add the fennel seeds. Let it splutter and then add the onion fry it until it starts turning brown now add the marinated chicken cumin powder and coriander powder Stir it well and fry it on a medium flame until the oil begins to separate. Add the chopped tomatoes and fried potatoes. Stir it well and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes, occasionally stirring in between. Now add the cardamom and cinnamon powder. Stir it well and add 2 cups of water. Cook 
Cover and cook it for 30 minutes until the meat is tender. Once the gravy achieves the consistency of your choice, turn off the heat, then finally add the chopped culantro over the dish. Cover so that the flavor gets infused into the dish. My dish looks ready. Can't wait to try it. Mmm. Here is the dish. The dish looks beautiful. The meat is tender and the gravy aromatic. Let me know what you guys think of this recipe in the comments. And before it gets cold, it's time for me to dig in and see you next Friday.